Are the middle tier anglers making more money with bass or with major league fishing? That's what we're going to talk about right now of this part two of who pays more. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Make sure you're part of the team and family. Let me just say thank you again. It's been a crazy month, another crazy month. And I really appreciate all of y'all that comment that are new members, that are new subscribers, that comment constantly, that are part of this part of this channel. If you're here watching this, you're part of the team and family. So thank you. But if you haven't hit that subscribe button, click it and become part of the team. I recently did the first part of this and there was some people that said, why did I take those anglers that I picked, the top tier anglers, versus somebody that's in the middle of the road? And Hunter Pratt 5899 was the person that asked me, would I do the would I do a part two of this and use the middle tier? And here we are. So thank you, Hunter. And we have to look at it as evenly as possible. So here's what I did. I used all the tournament earnings from 2022 through through 2024 for the major league fishing anglers and the and the Bassmaster elites. So I took five anglers from the elites and I took five anglers from the BPT. And how I used it was the angler of the year points. So I took anglers from both tournament series, anglers 30 through 35 in angler of the year. Now, if they didn't have three years of tournament winnings, I took the next person down. And that happened on the BPT. But who are the anglers we looked at? We took Caleb Summerall, Stetson Blaylock, Justin Prosnick, Drew Gill, and Wes Logan from the Elites. On the BPT, we took Andy Morgan, David Dudley, Anthony Gagliardi, Casey Ashley, and Mark Daniels Jr. And again, they have to have three consecutive years in that tournament series to qualify for this video. So right now, which one is going to pay more? That's what you need to do. Before you watch the rest of the video, comment below and tell me what five anglers you think are going to have a better earnings overall. And be honest. So for these totals, I kind of rounded up or rounded down. This isn't their exact tournaments. So it'll either be a little bit more by hundreds of dollars or a little bit less by $100. But let's start off with elites. Caleb Sumrall, three years, $195,000. Stetson Blaylock, three years, $291,000. Jacob Prosnick, three years, $195,000. Drew Cook, $370,000. And Wes Logan made $320,000 for a grand total of $1,371,000. Now for the BPT anglers, Andy Morgan made $210,000. David Dudley made $135,000. Anthony Gagliardi made $245,000. Casey Ashley made $166,000. And Mark Daniels Jr. made $206,000 for a total of $962,000. That's $400,000 difference for the middle tier anglers. The elite guys are getting paid more than the BPT guys. But I don't know if that'll change next year when they move down to 65 and then move down to 50. But this says, this shows a different storyline. So what do you think? Were you right? Were you wrong? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thank you, Hunter, for the comp, for the idea. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day. Remember, take a kid fishing get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. This was a short one because my battery's just about to die. See you soon. Tight lines and cheers.